Hi everyone, welcome to Chile TV. Today I'm trying to show you how to save money by replacing the vent valve. You hear a lot of noise on the radiator. So I try to get rid of the noise and to save money. Okay, let me try to remove the radiator cover. Okay, this is the radiator. Okay, this is radiator. Okay, this half, this half. This radiator to uh, heat up the room. Okay, and this is the vent valve I'm talking about. You see a lot of the steam coming out. Let me zoom closer. Steam coming out here. You see? A lot of steam coming out. So uh, that considering that this vent valve is leaked, is a defective. You cannot have this kind of uh, steam coming out continuation like this. That's no good. We have to replace it. Okay, uh, to replace this vent valve, you need uh, a part or uh, the vent steam valve. You can buy from Home Depot, ten dollar each, and you need uh, uh, what tool you need? You need a uh, channel lock, channel lock, okay, the channel lock, and you need a uh, teflon. That's all you need. Very simple. Okay, let me uh, bring you to the boiler room. I'm going to show you why I have to replace this vent valve. Okay. Okay, this is the boiler that uh, we talking about before the previous uh, video how to uh, replace uh, the main gas valve. Okay, uh, when the boiler in service, when the boiler in service, uh, the boiler need gas to uh, heating up the water, and the water turn to into the steam, and steam will delivery to the pipe okay and go to the system and uh, and steam most most of the most of the heat came from radiator where the steam stay there and uh, for each room we have one radiator so every floor also have a few radiator to heat, heat up the whole house so so uh, the, the boiler needs gas to boil the water and the water turn into steam. You see the water level right here, okay? So uh, if you have the leak system or the, the vent valve, the vent valve get leaks, steam go now, it coming now to the atmosphere and you lose the pressure and the boiler working harder and harder and you, it's going to cost you more gas and that cost you money. That's why I'm trying to show you the water level right here. So if the water, if the steam keep boiling the water, the water level keep going down, and then the system need to add more water into the boiler. So the new water coming in, the more gas has to burn up to heating up the water to perform, uh, to form a, a steam for the system. Uh, that's why I'm saying, if you don't replace this vent valve, uh, you're going to waste a lot of money for uh, a fume, like uh, especially gas. But some boiler they use uh, oil, but uh, this house they use gas. So it's going to cost you a lot more money than oil. So that uh, that kind of uh, noise from the vent valve is uh, unwanted noise. It's uh, very annoying and uh, it's going to cost you money uh, during the winter time. Uh, 
So every year, the boiler has to be turned on start from October 25th to uh, next, next year, like in April. It's about four months uh, cold weather in the, in, uh, the cold uh, weather state, like uh, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Philadelphia, or Pennsylvania. Uh, those uh, states uh, have a cold weather, so most of the house they use a uh, heating system like uh, this kind of uh, boiler. Some somehow they use electric uh, heater, but uh, it's cheap and safe. They use uh, gas and uh, oil, cheaper. Electric uh, spend you gonna cost you more money than other uh, energy uh, type. So uh, okay, let's go back to. Uh, the radiator, I'm going to try to show you how to replace the vent valve. Okay, to replace this vent valve, first of all, you have to uh, shut off the, the valve. Shut off the valve, come, come into the radiator. So the steam came up from the bottom, from the, from the lower level, come up here and go through here. So the valve is right here. So we have to shut off the valve first, okay? You're supposed to use a glove, okay? But uh, this one is a uh, plastic, so it's not really hard. But uh, most of the time, people use a glove for for your protection, right? Because it's hard, very hard. Okay. After you. Uh, Turn off the valve, the main valve. Let's shut off valve here. You turn it off now, no more no more steam spit out, okay? No more steam speaking out. But the whole radiator is still hot. So you got to wait for at least uh, about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes you can uh, remove the vent valve. Some people ask me that uh, why we need the vent valve for the radiator. Simple, very simple. Uh, any radiator is a is a is a element to heat up the room, but if you don't let the steam escape out from the vent valve, steam never delivery to the radiator. So you have to have a little uh, a little hole uh, here, right here, right here, little hole, so that the uh, steam can escape only uh, a few seconds. If you don't have any steam escape out here, steam never delivery to the radiator. So uh, it's normally inside here has the needle valve. So at certain pressure, steam pressure, at certain steam pressure, like maybe three pound or or four five pounds, the needle start to lift it up and open up and let the steam escape to the hole. That's why you see the radiator is getting hot and heating up your room. So if this hole won't work and you don't, you never get heat. But otherwise, if the needle again defected, it's open all the way, steam keeps spitting now and flowing now, hold now, and the radiator getting hot and hot and you lose water. When you lose water, you it's gonna cause you more more fume to avoid the water again. And the bill your you're gonna get your, your energy bill more than normal. That's why I'm saying you can save money by replacing this vent valve. This, this one just a small job, but you're going to save money during the winter time. It's when you hear uh, the noise like that, it's not normal. It's an unwanted noise. So you got to replace and you save money. Okay? Okay, this van bar don't have uh, adjustment for the hole. Okay? Don't have adjustment. Um, but um, this van valve had uh, made by manufacturer they already uh, adjust inside the needle, like how much, how much steam pressure to enable to lift up the, the needle valve. So uh, is it a fist, fist adjustment? It cannot adjust uh, by us. Okay, let me remove the vent right now. The radiator is uh, is warm up, it's cool. So I'm going to remove the, the defective one. Let me show you. Okay, this is very simple job. It's very simple.
Just get a, a tiny, a small job for your house. Uh, but you, uh, you enjoy to, uh, to replay and you save money. Okay, just uh, everybody can do this job. Uh, it's easy. Piece of cake. Make sure the radiator is uh, it's not hot. After 10 minutes waiting, it's not hot. And when you remove, make sure it not burn your hand. Okay. See here. Uh, when you go to buy the new one, okay, you have to buy exactly the same size, the same size and the same diameter. Okay, uh, it must be like one eight. So I say right here, one eight of an inch straight vent, one eight of an inch straight vent. Okay. They have uh, different size, but uh, this size is uh, one eighth of an inch. This one you don't need to put a lot of Teflon because uh, the the steam escape out anyway. But uh, when steam escape out. That only a uh, few seconds and then that's say it stop. It's not continuation uh, speed out like that. It's not normal. So only a few turn of the Teflon uh, <coughs> to make sure that steam come up here, escape from here, not down here. And then uh, you your channel that. <coughs> tie up a little bit. Okay, it's good enough. <coughs> you see the old one here? You spit out, you see, all the water is staying right here, damage. Okay, let me turn on the valve. Okay, after replace the vent valve, you uh, reopen the, the shut off valve, okay? This valve they call shut, shut off valve, or uh, main valve. Okay, after the main valve uh, reopened, and uh, I don't see any uh, steam spit out from uh, the vent valve. It's working perfect, uh, very smooth. No more noise, no more noise like before. So uh, even though it's it is a spit that steam spit out from here, maybe about a few seconds, like one or two uh, second, or they just split out very 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 small amount it's very rarely small amount of steam so that the uh, steam have the have a, have a chance to flow into the radiator to heating up the radiator for the room escape a little bit not much like the one before you see yeah i can hear just a little bit and now stop okay not normal uh, So this vent valve you must to replace uh, because uh, it's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you, uh, your bill will be going up every month. Hello. Okay, this is just a small job. Um, 
I am. Uh, I try to help uh, people how to uh, replace uh, this van valve to save money, and uh, you don't have to call technician. You can do by yourself. You can do um, safely. Okay, this is this is this is, this is uh, it's not dangerous like a uh, big job. Uh, make sure to wear glove, uh, PPE like I maybe eye glass, wear glove. Uh, like uh, use a proper tool like can a lot, and maybe uh, the Teflon. You don't have Teflon, you don't have to worry about. And this is just small job, small job. That's the reason why I tell everybody that uh, if you hear something strange noise from your radiator, just open up and look at it. This is the, this is the one cost you money. If you don't replace it, your gas bill will be increased every month, and you don't know why it's so much. Okay, okay. Uh, so thank you for watching my video. Uh, please, uh, if you like my video, uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, press subscribe and like. And also, you have any comment, put uh, uh, write out a comment below the video. Uh, write it out, and then I can use my best answer. And uh, please uh, share with uh, your friend, your family. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye bye.